Hey guys, well in this week's video we're going to talk about this neat little project that I've been working on uh, over the last few weeks, uh, over the holidays. Uh, this is my new toy, this is an AR9. I want to wish everyone a happy new year. Uh, over the holidays I've been working on this little project here. What I've got here is a AR9 that I put together. Uh, this is a Glock AR9 kit. It came with the SBC3 brace, uh, the Magpul pistol grip, uh, Palomato State Armory uh, parts kit for the lower. Uh, the upper here is a Foxtrot Mike FM9 with a 5 inch barrel. I've got a uh, Romeo 5 Sig red dot on here. Uh, really like that. It's got the shake awake technology in there, so that's really cool. And some flip up tactical sights. So, what I'm doing here is I'm kind of, uh, I've took this to the range two or three times and I really like it. Um, and so, I'm just kind of putting on some accessories. It's got this M lock rail here, which is really nice to bolt on these accessories. And today's video, we're going to talk about one of these, uh, which I happen to have uh, 3D printed which is a hand stop. Because of this is such a short barrel you have a tendency to want to just reach out in front of this and well we know that's not safe so I wanted to add this hand stop and I went online thought about purchasing one, thought about machining one out of aluminum but I just just decided to go ahead and uh, 3D print one. So what I did was I went on Thingiverse Alright guys, so here we are on Thingiverse, and so the first thing I did before I tried to design this on my own, I just thought I would do a quick search to see if I could find, if anyone's already designed something, it would just save me a lot of time. So, I got on Thingiverse, I started looking around, and I found this gentleman who has 3D printed a bunch of these M-Lock rail covers and handbrakes. He's done several here that he's uploaded. Uh, this gentleman is a long tall Texan so I appreciate him uploading these because it did save me quite a bit of time but the one I was interested in was this one right here and so I just downloaded the files here we are this one this is the STL but he also was kind enough to upload the STP file not everyone that uploads on Thingiverse will upload an STP file so what I'm going to show you here is a way to be able to modify these. So I've imported the file here. It looks really nice. However, I thought it'd be nice to have like a little radius in here uh, so that if you were going to slide your index finger up against this area, you could put your finger around it and kind of grip it there. So what I decided to do was I was just going to modify this file. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to create a sketch. I'm going to select this plane here. And I'm just going to draw a circle. Let's draw it out here somewhere. Maybe there. And then I'm just going to go back about like that. That looks good. I'm going to finish this sketch and what I want to do is I just want to cut this portion out right here so I'm going to go to extrude select this I'm going to do symmetric and I'm going to cut away from this body so notice that infusion there's no target or body found to intersect or cut. That's because we have we have to first convert this to a solid body from a mesh. So in order to do that, I want to go up here to mesh. I want to go to modify, convert mesh. This will convert from a mesh body to a solid or surface body so that we can do make the changes that we need to so I'm just going to select the body and then select the method we're going to use faceted here I'm going to click OK and then now you can see it's turned gray and black so we've turned this into a solid body and then now we can go back to 
our extrude operation and we can cut this out we're going to change this back to symmetric here and you can see that we've cut both sides and now I've modified this model more to my liking and I can send this directly to my 3d printer software 3d print this out I want to check the size of this real quick so that's 160 millimeters so that's way big um, yeah six inches wide it needs to be about probably five eight so um, we need to scale this so I'm gonna go up here to scale and I'm gonna change this scale to 0.1 And then now let's take a measurement. This should be about 0.6 on the width here. There we go. Yeah, that's a lot better. 0.63. Now, of course, I've already 3D printed this, so I knew exactly what the scale was. It was a tenth of what I needed. So now I'm going to take and go over here to File. 3d print I'm gonna select the body here and click OK it's just going to send it out to my 3d printer software application I use the generic 3d printer software that came with my 3d printer and it seems to work well I've tried different ones but this one it just does the trick so uh, it's simple easy to use so I use this software as you can see it outputs it uh, correctly now of course on this it has the M lock on the bottom here so I'm going to have to put uh, supports under there to uh, make sure that it 3d prints it correctly but as you can see it turns out really nice and that's how I can modify files that I download off Thingiverse Guys, thanks for watching the video. Guys, if you're new to my channel, click on that subscribe button down here below along with the notification bell. That way when I post a new video like this, if it's something you're interested in, you can stop by and check it out. As always, please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, or leave comments. Thanks for watching the video. Thumbs up if you like the video, and most importantly, be safe.